Unfortunately, this flu season is shaping up to be one of the worst ones we've had in a long time. There was a new flu variant that uh, emerged over the summer, and it's just turning out to be much more infectious than previous flus that we've seen. The flu vaccine that we have this year provides some protection against it, so it's still definitely worthwhile getting. Uh, but we are seeing a lot of, especially the pediatric population, getting infected right now with influenza A. And what we're expecting is that as they bring that virus home, that more family members will be exposed and become infected, and then it may spread further from there. It's definitely not too late to get a flu shot. The flu season is expected to last for another two months at least. And so getting a flu shot now or as soon as possible will still make a big difference. It's not necessarily to prevent the infection itself, it's so that your body is ready to fight the infection as soon as you become exposed, and so that that infection doesn't become more severe, leading to hospitalization or death. Certainly just staying at home and resting, um, waiting until you feel better before increasing your activity, still the best treatment for sure. If your symptoms seem quite severe or if you're in a high risk category, elderly, immunocompromised, un underlying lung disease, diabetes, heart disease, those patients probably should get tested and probably get started on treatment as soon as possible. But for the majority of people, just resting at home and waiting it out is the best treatment. If it's been a few days and your symptoms seem to be worsening instead of improving, if you're having very high fevers, if you're unable to eat and uh, there's a risk of becoming dehydrated, or if you have severe shortness of breath, those would be good reasons to come in and get checked out. As always, prevention is much better than uh, getting the infection in the first place. And so, the vaccine uh, definitely uh, will make a difference as far as that goes, but also things like hand washing, using hand sanitizer, avoiding um, going out if you're sick so you don't spread it to other people. Masking can be beneficial, certainly for high risk patients. Cloth masks um, and the regular paper masks offer very little protection. If you really feel like you're a high risk individual and you have to go out, an N95 mask is still very helpful in that situation. Plus carrying some hand sanitizer with you, avoiding touching too many surfaces. These things can all make big differences. The flu season will typically last until sometime to the middle, the end of March, possibly longer, depending on a lot of different factors. But right now we're still just at the beginning of January and there's still plenty of time to get the vaccine to prevent uh, being, ex being uh, at risk of a severe flu infection this season.